What's up you guys, Rex here. So why on earth do doctors sometimes implant one of your own organs into your forearm? So there's a really interesting procedure that sometimes takes place where doctors will auto implant your own parathyroid gland into your forearm. So let's backtrack a little bit and talk about what the parathyroid gland even is. So you have your thyroid gland, which is on your neck, and if you put your fingers here and swallow, you can usually feel it moving back and forth just on either side of your trachea. Sometimes you can feel it, sometimes you don't. What your thyroid does is it basically produces your thyroid hormones, which are main hormones that regulate basically metabolism. So if you have too much thyroid hormone, your body might be overactive and sweating and stuff like that, versus you might have real low energy if you have hypothyroidism or not enough thyroid hormone. And now there are also various cancers that can occur on your thyroid. Now behind your thyroid actually exists four little parathyroid glands that look like they're sort of part of the thyroid, they're hard to see, and basically their main job is to produce parathyroid hormone. And what this has to do is regulating the calcium and phosphate in our blood, most particularly calcium. And the way it does this is by increasing our calcium level by telling the cells in our bones to eat up a little bit of our bone and release that calcium stored in our bone into our bloodstream. And we need calcium in our blood for all kinds of signaling from muscle contraction to helping our hearts work, all kinds of important stuff. So parathyroid is pretty important. Now, back to talking about how there's different cancers and growths that occur in a thyroid, where sometimes the recommended treatment is to just remove the thyroid gland and people can live with their thyroid removed. Now, when you do this procedure of removing a thyroid, it's pretty difficult because you got a lot of important things in your neck there that you don't want to touch. And it's sort of very difficult to do this procedure without damaging the parathyroid glands and damaging the blood supply to them in particular. And so it's a very well-known complication of removing a thyroid, a thyroidectomy, that you have resulting hypocalcemia or not enough calcium in your blood because parathyroid hormones, they tell your bones to release more calcium into the blood. If that's not working, you have too little calcium in the blood. So known complication of this procedure, removing the thyroid is damaged parathyroid glands. And so doctors figured out a long time ago and sort of refigured it out a little bit more recently that one way to counteract this is just preemptively auto implant, which is taking your own organ and putting it somewhere else, auto implant the parathyroid somewhere else in the body. And so there's a couple different techniques that can be used. One of the techniques is to essentially take the parathyroid gland, mince it up with a tiny pair of scissors, mix it with some saline, put it in a syringe and just inject it into your sternocleidomastoid muscle, which runs right along here, helps you turn your head, big muscle, and it just sort of is nice and easy to do because when you're doing the thyroidectomy, you already have exposed that muscle. It's a large muscle belly, relatively in the neck, and so you can just take your syringe, inject it in there. Now, sometimes this isn't recommended because sometimes there also is sort of like abnormal parathyroid stuff going on, that it might be a concern of the doctor that there also is potential for the parathyroid to potentially be malignant or stop functioning or start producing too much parathyroid hormone, which is really bad because then you're chewing up too much of your bone. So in that case, it's very common to take the parathyroid glands out and actually put them in salt water and cool them down for like 30 minutes to like four degrees Celsius. So getting near freezing, get them nice and cold. And that allows you to slice them up into like 10 or 20 pieces and get them nice and small. And then you implant them into your brachioradialis muscle, which is right here, typically on your non-dominant arm, just so you have your dominant arm. So there's two cool advantages of putting it in someone's forearm. The first is that you can monitor how well the parathyroid gland is functioning by taking venous blood from your arm that it was implanted into and your just arm that has nothing done to it and compare the venous return of both of the different arms. And if there's way too much parathyroid hormone in the arm that it was implanted into, you know something's wrong and you might have to remove it. And so that's the second advantage is that if you know there's a chance you might have to remove it, it's much safer and easier to do a subsequent surgery to search around in your forearm to find all those pieces than it is to be searching around in your neck to find all of those pieces. So in summary, there's ultimately three reasons why you might have a doctor take your own organ, your parathyroid gland, and put it into your forearm. The first is that they are preemptively trying to protect you 
from having hypocalcemia from your parathyroid gland not functioning because it might get damaged in a thyroidectomy. The second is that it allows them to then monitor the function of the parathyroid gland in its new place. And third, it allows for a safer and easier removal if the parathyroid gland has to later be removed. So that is one of the coolest things I learned in my past week of medical school. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear about them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to catch other videos where I share really cool things I learned in a week of medical school. As always, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, and until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great. Thank you.